Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Uh, just want to do a video for you real quick on an older home. It's about 100 years old. Uh, you got lath and plast, how you know. It's solid. Um, you can tell, especially when you drill a little pilot hole through it. This house, we're trying to figure out how to get up here and get her a light with a switch. Um, really hard to do when all the house is wired in conduit. That was done in the 1910. I uh, had a customer from Fort Collins call me today and said, hey, I got a house in 1907. I just bought it. I'm ripping out the living room. I'd like to actually redo this. Here's the problem with the older homes when you had the IMC conduit is that a lot of the power went through the conduits to the light boxes. Then they switched looped down to the switches and switched looped or just did a power hot neutral down to the, uh, the outlets. Or they went through the light box to the outlet with the IMC and here's the problem. You're not going to have a lot of outlets in the house and you're going to have a lot of a decent amount of light fixtures, but you can't get into those IMC boxes sometimes from the top. Um, so in this situation, we've tried fishing up this wall right here by removing this plug and drilling a hole, popping out. It's a metal box. You pop out the KO plug. We can't fish past this point. We're over here and this was remodeled years ago with the kitchen, probably in the last six, seven years, my thought. But right in here, we're fishing up fine until we get to here. We did a little teeny pilot hole up there so we can just mud that. And as you can see, the drywall, that would be a tiny little hole that we did, but that actually broke apart with the plaster. But that was to identify to get the hole. So we drilled two holes up above in the attic, saw the stud came down, and we're hitting something the same exact measurement with my fish rod. And so with this fish rod, we can't even get through to the attic. Um, I don't know if it's even feasible for her other than to go outside later and bring power from the outside panel and drill into the attic to get power up here. But for right now, unless she, you know, I'm waiting on her to come home, but unless we can drill, uh, cut a patch right here and have her have somebody patch it, we're not able to get through. Um, we've looked in this switch as well, it's not gonna work. And then we've looked over here in this bathroom in this switch, and we're just trying to simply get her one light with a switch, and then inside uh, the closet over there, we wanna get a motion uh, light. So. This is kind of a neat feature. I'll show you this real quick. We're trying to get this in for her, which is just a simple. These bulbs come in CFL, which is compact fluorescent or LED, illuminating electrical diode. I always suggest a, an LED, but sometimes the CFLs are just a lot cheaper. But it's got a GU24 base. <clears throat> I can get this thing out of here. So it's got a real narrow bulb. It's a CFL, it's compact fluorescent, it's GU24 base. It's got a little vents there to cool it. Uh, that just pops in right here. What I love about this fixture is it's rated for closets because anything below um, you know, a surface mount or a recessed can has to have a plastic lens. So I get away with this with my inspectors, even fairly close to shelves like a small closet like this. What I like about it is it has a motion light, so as you open the door, it just motions. I don't always have to come down for a switch. Very cool way to get to it, but I do have to have attic space. If I don't have attic space, I'm cutting drywall uh, just to get a wire through there to get it constant hot. So anyways, we're trying to get that in. At the same time, we get a junction up above for her to get power up there and then come down for a switch here. I'd like to do a motion light here, but she wants something more decorative and therefore that doesn't come with the motion. You could drill a hole and put a motion sensor on it, but they're fairly big and gaudy. It's good for outside fixtures, but not really for inside. So she definitely does want to switch and maybe a dimmer here. But again, guys, so these older homes, a little bit more challenging. Um, they do have a lot of cross braces in these older homes. And I think it was because of the studs twisting, as well as the fact of just sometimes just a fire um, barrier between uh, floors. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Have a good day.